Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris Nunn with Seven Sounds Productions. I'm here to give you a quick and easy fix. So uh, I'll show you my Behringer uh, X-Touch. So here, here, here it is right here. Voila. And as you see um, on this screen, I can select different channels. So yeah, it says as I press it, but as you can also hear, um, it is an issue for me because that's not the way I intended it to be used. So. In short, the, the fix is pretty easy, so we'll show you how to do that. All you do is you go to your studio, you go to studio setup, you go to your MIDI port setup um, tab or, or tree section, and then see here's my X-Touch right here. Um, the issue was having this thing right here connected. So you see it's connected right now. It has the X on it, X marks the spot right here. Uh, all in MIDI all so every it's going to receive you know a MIDI in signal uh, uh you know all mini mini signals into the into the, into the DAW into Cubase so you just have to uncheck that and once that's done I'm pressing it you can see me selecting on the screen up and down the channels and it's no longer making those noises but I can still do my faders and it's not triggering the VST instruments uh, behind that so easy fix here we go Peace.